Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare. So, Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. <clears throat> Govinda, Shri Krishna, Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda, Shri Avedi Kradhar, Shri Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hey, hi, Bob. <clears throat> Everyone's still sleeping, and my clothes are in one of the rooms. I don't want to disturb the person that's in there. So, oh, I got the towel. But I, I wanted to um, hear and chant a little bit before everybody gets up. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, be able to read a little something from Chaitanya Charamrita. <clears throat> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. <clears throat> Krishna, Krishna. The purpose of a festival or even a holy place is so that when people visit there they might make a connection with a devotee that can help them advance spiritually. There's a lot of people at this festival here <clears throat> in Florida. <clears throat> Very pious people, they're good people uh, and a lot of chanting going on. However, it, it's important where you get the mantra from, who you receive the mantra from. And by receiving the mantra from an empowered devotee who is able to actually speak from the platform of love of God, getting the mantra from that person makes all the difference in the world. <laughs> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. So a lot of chanting, a lot of dancing, and there's prasadam everywhere. And it's, it's a very nice religious gathering. It's a religious gathering. Um, the performances are, are very entertaining and musical and very lively. But I hate to say it, they just don't get off the ground. For all the, the banging of the drums and the cartels and all the, it's like crooning, all the crooning and melodious sounds. It may be the heavenly planets or possibly Vaikuntha, but it's not Prema Bhakti. No way, no way. So Sachi and I are here at this festival and we're just kind of hanging out and um, there are a couple very, very nice people staying with us in the house. Very nice. Tom is very elevated. He's had the experiences of crown chakra and he's, he's... So we were able to talk a little bit last night after Everyone else took rest. Tom and I sat for a little while. We were able to discuss some of the things that Srila Gauharidas is uh, teaching us and helping us to understand. And he was all ears. I mean, he, he was listening with his heart. He knows about the tears. He knows about the ecstatic feelings. And he's looking. He's looking for Krishna, Prema Bhakti Krishna. 
So maybe the festival was a success. Maybe Tom can actually make the connection that he needs to be set free, truly set free. And Jody also, she's, <laughs> she's, she's very, very uh, open to um, what is this Krishna? What is going on here? <laughs> We've had some lovely uh, discussions also. And she's looking for a spiritual master. Uh, I was trying to help her with that, that, that the spiritual master, Krishna sends the spiritual master when the desire is very, very strong. You, want, you actually want Krishna's representative uh, in your life. And um, she's, she's open. So. It's, it's very uh, intense here right now. <laughs> it's always intense here, whether anybody's here or not, because I'm, I'm always kind of intense. But somehow or other, Krishna's allowed um, these people to be in close proximity. And I pray for them, because they've entered at their own risk. <laughs> so yesterday was uh, oh, Sachi. <laughs> she's something else. There's a cat that hangs around out here, and Sachi just really relates to cats. And so she wanted to know where the cat lived, so she followed the cat home. And it's my next door neighbor's cat, and he has 12 of them. And Sachi was worried that I didn't have a cat. I said, I do have a cat. This cat comes here all the time. He's fine. And I'm fine with it. He doesn't have to come in the house. It's okay. So she went over there, and she, she saw, oh my God. I thought Mina didn't have a cat, but actually Mina has 12 cats because the neighbor has them and they come over here to visit. So she's relieved that I don't have a cat. I, I have 12 cats now that come over here, <laughs> which is all right with me because they keep the squirrels in check and somebody around here is digging holes everywhere and the hole digging is stopping a little bit because, you know, the cats like to go hunting, so we're okay. Um, but in the process of finding where the cat lived, she met my neighbor, Jimmy, who's a really, really soft-hearted man. He's, he's old. He's in his, uh, he looks to me like he's in his 90s. He says he's in his late 60s, but he looks to me like he's in his 90s. So, I don't know, it's just his eyes, his skin and everything. He looks really old. But um, and he's a black man, and um, he's just like, down home, southern sweetheart. He's lived there his whole life. His brother lives next to him. Their place is a mess. There's junk everywhere, all over. <laughs> That's probably why there's 12 cats. There's lots of things to do over there. But um, so he's been lived here his whole life, like practically across the street from the temple. And he's never been over there. He's never been to the Hare Krishna farm. And he's been here his whole life. And from where we live, our houses, you can hear the chanting. When they use the amplification system, you can hear it everywhere. I can hear it over here. So he can hear the chanting. And um, I've had some nice interaction with him. He's a sweet guy. I keep his grass cut in front of his house. It's hard for him to do stuff. He has a lot of relatives, but for him to physically get out there. So Sachi, on a mission to find the cat's home, found Jimmy, who wants to come with us tomorrow to visit the temple for the first time, after living here his whole life, and never been, been invited, never been introduced. It's inconceivable, huh? Like two feet from the temple and no one's ever talked to him. <laughs> but Sachi has. So he's... He's saying he wants to come over tomorrow. So who's, we're going to go over to the, the religious function. <laughs> so this is, this is what it means to hang around Sachi. You never know what she's going to drag in, you know. Hare <laughs> Krishna. So, you know, we're having a pretty good time because we're fixed on Srila Bar Haridas. And so this is helping us stay afloat amidst this sea of vites. It's, it's just an ocean of vites. And all the um, performances 
the singing and the dancing, but not actually calling out for Krishna, but singing and dancing very loudly. No, but no, not, no tears, no tears. And the men are on one side and the women on the other side. It's a vaiti function, religious function. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. So Sachi has her phone with her and we're tuned into Goa Beach in the middle of the Vaidhi Kirtan. We got Goa Beach going. And uh, Shilagora Haridas speaking, which we let a couple people hear, put her phone up to their ear and they're listening to Goa Beach and they're listening to Shilagora Haridas. So it, it's a tough crowd, you know. It's a real tough crowd. But somehow or other Krishna has us here for this little while. And um, today we've got kind of a full day. I'm going to go over and pick Jimmy up, take him over. The cats are staying home. Sachi, the cats are staying home. <laughs> pick Jimmy up and bring him over. And we have um, uh, Tom and Jody here. And uh, we'll probably watch the Prabhupada video I've never seen it. All the devotees say, oh, it's wonderful. You really, really get a good feeling for Sri Prabhupada. So I've never seen it. I have a copy of it. We'll watch that and uh, have a kirtan and see what we can do to try and introduce them to this path, this bhakti, path of bhakti. And Tom's got it. He just needs association. He has it. <clears throat> That's all he was talking about was, where's the bhakti? I want the bhakti. Where's the tears? I don't see any tears. This is what he's saying. <coughs> so we're all together over here. <coughs> and we'll just <coughs> <coughs> see what Krishna, <coughs> Krishna has, has in store for us. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. And I'm just trying to repeat as nicely as I can these truths that as I'm realizing them and as I'm hearing them from Srila Gaur Haridas. And people are listening, so I need to do more of this. Also, we gave out mantra cards to those that look like they could actually appreciate what's going on in our Sangha, our online Sangha. <clears throat> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. And then we have a, a function this afternoon at one of the devotees' homes. <coughs> so we're going to go to some devotees' houses for a kirtan and some prasadam. Hare, and try to do some association. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. But holding our ground, not being confused or bewildered by all the activity going on around us. It's just an incredible amount of activity. And all the jumping and dancing. and it, it looks to me like the heavenly planets. The girls come with the swirly skirts and they swirl around. It's very colorful. Hare Krishna. It's pious living in cities. Religious pious people. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. But I was just reading <clears throat> yesterday that in the purport, Prabhupada explains this movement that it's a religious system meant to turn into love of God. And he says it becomes perfect when this religious, any religious system, but also that means this religious system turns into love of God, ecstatic love of God. And this is the mission of Srila Gaur Haridas, is to push that forward, push this religious system for its actual uh, benefit. That's his contribution to this line <clears throat> of disciplic succession. He's at that turning point of a religious system turning into love of God. So, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare. We'll see if we can't have a little kirtan at the house, just the four of us. And uh, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. 
Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. <clears throat> so let me read a little bit, Chaitanya Charitamrita. Um, this is <clears throat> text 229. This is Adi Lila, chapter 4. Um, let's see, Adi Lila, chapter 4. Uh, the confidential reason for Lord Chaitanya's appearance, and it's um, text 229. Krishna Das Kaviraj has given a little um, outline of what he's going to be discussing. And over the last few verses, he has taken each one of those like headings and expanded them out. Each verse, he's expanded them out. Now he's going back, <clears throat> and he's going to, what he says here in text 29 is, I have given a hint of the sixth verse. Now please hear as I reveal the meaning of that original verse. He's giving purports to his own verses. And uh, this is a quote. He doesn't say where it's from. Maybe in the next, next section he'll say where it's from. But this is a quote. Desiring to understand the glory of Radharani's love, the wonderful qualities in him that she alone relishes through her love, and the happiness she feels when she realizes the sweetness of his love. The Supreme Lord Hari, richly endowed with her emotions, appeared from the womb of Srimati Sachi Devi as the moon appeared from the ocean. I'm not sure, maybe that is the sixth verse. I don't know. But anyway, that's the quote, <clears throat> the um, original verse. But here's, read that again. Uh, desiring to understand the glory of Radharani's love, the wonderful qualities in him that she alone relishes through her love, and the happiness she feels when she realizes the sweetness of his love. The Supreme Lord Hari, richly endowed with her emotions, appeared from the womb of Srimati Sachi Devi as the moon appeared from the ocean. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama. Text 231. All these conclusions are unfit to disclose in public. But if they are not disclosed, no one will understand them. <clears throat> this is Krishna Das Kaviraj speaking. He says, this is like a purport to that verse, he says, all these conclusions are unfit to disclose in public. But if they're not disclosed, no one will understand them. <clears throat> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. He continues, therefore I shall mention them, revealing only their essence so that loving devotees will understand them, but fools will not. <clears throat> so there's a kind of code here. Srila Gauradas talks about how these verses are codes. So Krishna Das Kaviraj is going to um, purposely um, present these truths so that those who have love in their heart will be able to relish them. But those who are inimical <clears throat> and are rascals, it'll just skip by them. They won't get it. So Krishna Das Kaviraj says, Therefore, I shall mention them, revealing only their essence, so that loving devotees will understand them, but fools will not. <clears throat> Hare Krishna. Text 233, anyone who has captured Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Lord Nityananda Prabhu in his heart will become blissful by hearing all these transcendental conclusions. <laughs> it's a protection. He's protecting the Lord. <clears throat> He's protecting the devotees. 
from the fools and rascals. He's protecting them. They become blissful by hearing. The ecstatic mission of the Lord. Anyone who has captured Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Lord Nityananda Prabhu in his heart will become blissful by hearing all these transcendental conclusions. <clears throat> they will experience the intimacy with the Lord that others cannot enter. Like being in a crowd of very noisy, active people and being there alone with someone that you love. So all the commotion is going on all around you. You're not disturbed because you're with the one that you love. You're together. <clears throat> and that's what Krishna does, Kaviraj, is giving here. That connection with the Lord. So that only the loving devotee can make that connection. In others, it'll just skip by them. So the devotee is protected. And the Lord is protected. The Lord is within the heart of the devotee. The verse again, anyone who has captured Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Lord Ananda Prabhu, in his heart, will become blissful by hearing all these transcendental conclusions. <clears throat> because Krishna Das Kaviraj has that intimate relationship with the Lord. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Text 234. All these conclusions are like newly grown twigs of a mango tree. They're always pleasing to the devotees who in this way resemble cuckoo birds. <laughs> okay, so cuckoo birds have some kind of a special relationship with newly grown twigs of a mango tree. I'll read the verse again. This is a little illustration. Uh, Krishna. All these conclusions are like newly grown twigs of a mango tree. They're always pleasing to the devotees who in this way resemble cuckoo birds. Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama. Text 235. Ah. The camel-like non-devotees cannot enter into these topics. Therefore, there is special jubilation in my heart. Ah, Krishna Das Kavri Raj is feeling very protected by this loving relationship with the Lord, camel-like devotees. So what's with the camel? Uh, the camel chews thorny twigs, okay? But um, those twigs, they cut his mouth and tongue, and the camel-like devotee is tasting his own blood and thinking he's drinking this nectar. Those are the twigs that the camel tastes. The twigs that the cuckoo bird tastes are the newly grown twigs on the mango tree. <clears throat> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. The conclusions of the Bhagavatam are often compared to a ripened mango. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, the twigs on that tree are of special interest to the cuckoo bird. <laughs> and the thorny twigs are of special interest to the camels. <laughs> what do camels do, too? They're actually beasts of burden. You know, they, they work hard like asses, basically. A camel works like an ass. Hmm. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Those camels cannot enter into these intimate topics, cannot relish the taste of the intimate topics. They're too busy relishing the taste of the thorny twigs. Hare Krishna, Jai Krishna, Text 236. Ah. Ah, next verse. This is Krishna's Kaviraj and his ecstatic intimacy with the Lord. For fear of them, I do not wish to speak. But 
if they do not understand, then what can be happier in all the three worlds? Mm. Because he's going to speak in such a way that these thorny twig eaters will not <clears throat> trample the the um, the, uh, the delicate the delicacies that the uh, ecstatic devotees are relishing. They won't trample them. So he says, for fear of them, I do not wish to speak. He doesn't want the camels coming in. But if they do not understand, if I do speak and they don't understand, then what can be happier in all the three worlds? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare. That seems a little cruel, doesn't it? Why not help the poor camels? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. It doesn't quite work like that. The way to help anyone is to stay fixed in your own intimate relationship with the Lord. That's the way to actually help someone. So this is part of the ecstasy of the devotee, is this intimacy. And only those who are attracted to having a relationship like that will be able to take advantage. Others will simply remain as thorny twig eaters. Hare Krishna. So he's right. He's not being cruel. He's right. He's protecting something very precious. What is it? Don't throw your pearls before swine. It's the same kind of thing. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Don't give up your loving relationship. Don't give up your bhakti for the illusion of trying to help someone. Because the best way to help anyone is to stay in bhakti. That's the best way to help anyone. It's, I remember there used to be an example that was floating around the movement in the old days when Srila Prabhupada was right with us. Um, that if there's a shipwreck <clears throat> and people are struggling in the in the ocean and I, and you you manage somehow or other to get into the lifeboat stay in the lifeboat if you try to extend your hand out make sure you stay in the lifeboat because they will pull you in Hare Krishna, they will pull you in. If you extend your hand and you're not firmly fixed in the lifeboat of bhakti, with a bhakti guru, a suda bhakti guru, and you reach your hand out to try and help them, if you're not firmly fixed at the, with your bhakti guru, they'll pull you in. What is it? The road to hell is paved with good intentions. These sayings have been around for a long time. And when a saying has been around for a long time, it means it rings true. It means there's truth to it because it survived different cultures, different time, different external situations. So there's truth in that. Hare Krishna Krishna, stay fixed. You have to stay fixed yourself. That's all there is to it. Hare Krishna. <clears throat> That's why I like to hear from Srila Gaur Haridas. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Suda Bhakti Guru. Suda Bhakti Guru. <clears throat> Hare Krishna. And they're not standing on every street corner, I'll tell you that right now. Oh, Text 237. Krishna Das Kaviraj continues. Therefore, after offering obeisances to the devotees, for their satisfaction, I shall speak without hesitating. So he's going to ta- start to speak about these topics that the uh, thorny camel, thorny, uh, the camels who eat these thorny uh, twigs will not be able to enter keeping their thorny twig mentality. <clears throat> Text 238. This is Krishna Kaviraj. He says, Once Lord Krishna considered within his heart, quote, 
Everyone says that I am complete bliss, full of all rasas. And by the way, this is Srila Prabhupada who has chosen to translate this particular Vaishnav scripture, speaking this into a dictaphone late at night when everyone's sleeping. <clears throat> in his own mood of ecstatic love for the Lord. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Text 239. Krishna continues to think, All the world derives pleasure from me. Is there anyone who can give me pleasure? <laughs> All the world derives pleasure from me. Is there anyone who can give me pleasure? <laughs> I want to enjoy. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Vau. Who's there? Mary, Sachi. Hey, Sachi. I'm reading Chaitanya Charitamrita online. Maybe I want to make some tea over Okay. Yeah, you, you know where everything is, right? I'll find it. Okay. If you need anything, okay. ask Krishna. <laughs> <coughs> Okay, uh, text 240. One who has, this is Krishna thinking, he wants to enjoy. Is there anyone that can help me enjoy? I can have enjoyable relationship with? One who has a hundred times more qualities than me could give pleasure to my mind. One who has a hundred times more qualities than me could give pleasure to my mind. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama. 241, Krishna continues to think, one more qualified than me is impossible to find in the world. <clears throat> but in Radha alone, I feel the presence of one who can give me pleasure. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Okay, it's getting a little uh, rambunctious out there. They're starting to wake up, and I don't have any clothes on. It's got a towel, so it's time to uh, uh, probably wind this down. But <clears throat> Hare Krishna, I was able to read a little bit. Okay, so who's this? Madhusudana. Srila Prabhupada. Hey, Bhopu. Uh, Srila Prabhupada said, Ta -da. even if I make one pure devotee, my mission is complete. So you're doing fine. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Yeah. And Srila Gaur Haridas is bringing everyone to that platform uh, that will take advantage of it to that platform of pure devotional service, in loving ecstasy. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hey, Bhakti Jeremiah, Harbaugh. Uh, <laughs> Vani, is Bonnie, is Vani. He's Hare Krishna, glad I tuned in, very nice. Oh Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Vani Prabhu, oh my God, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Yeah, there's there's a big festival going on here and there's a lot of very pious religious people who are um, very much attuned to the mode of goodness. Hari Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari Hari It's a very nice religious function. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Hare Ram. But Prabhupada is also not just giving the religion of the age, he's also giving the path to pure ecstatic love of God. It's almost two separate things going on at once. They're like going on at the same time. And Krishna Das Kaviraj describes how that can be, as we're reading here in Adi 4, Adi Leela chapter 4 of the Chaitanya Charita, that they coincided at the same time. And that Lord Chaitanya himself did not have to appear personally 
to get the religion of the age going, the chantings of the holy name. <clears throat> the Lord Advaita states that specifically in uh, one of the verses, that, that he himself, he's a Vishnu form, he himself could do that. But the only one that could give ecstatic love of God is the Lord himself. And that was why <clears throat> Lord, uh, Lord Advaita um, began with loud cries and appeals for this prema bhakti to be introduced into the world. For that, the Lord himself would have to come, because it has to come through a person, a person who is empowered by the Lord, who's <clears throat> in a relationship with the Lord. And it's interesting, because that's the mood of the Lord when he comes. He's showing the path to Krishna, right? And how does he do it? <clears throat> by appearing as an ecstatic devotee. That's how this is given. We have to see the ecstasy. We have to see the ecstatic devotee. The religion of the age will go on just fine for like, you know, how long, is, how long, ever long it is. It will go on because it's the religion of the age. <clears throat> Sankirtan, yagna, chanting of the holy names. As opposed to what? As opposed to big uh, elaborate temples with not plastic beads, but real jewels and gold <clears throat> and, and all sorts of precious items the Lord is worshipped with. So we have a remnant of that um, <clears throat> to help keep us focused. <clears throat> but the actual religious process in previous ages was this elaborate temple worship. Great opulence, no amount of wealth spared in, in constructing fantastic temples. <clears throat> and uh, in other, another age, it was sacrifices, <clears throat> which took tons of ghee, and again, all sorts of wealth and precious uh, items being distributed freely uh, to the Brahmins and to the other members of society by the uh, wealthy uh, leaders. And then the other ages, the religious function is the meditation. I mean, sitting for like, you know, 10,000 years in meditation. You want to try that now? <laughs> you want to sit 10,000 years and meditate? We don't have that kind of lifespan. <laughs> I need to, you know, I have that kind of attention span. I mean, you know, <laughs> even on the uh, the digital media, you know, the electronic media, if they had to reduce the duration of the advertisements to like, like on, on um, YouTube, the duration of the advertisements are like now less than five seconds <laughs> because of the attention span. <laughs> they just blip it and then they go away. I mean, Krishna, it's almost a subliminal ad. I mean, it's like less than five seconds. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, because of the attention span. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. So the, the religious function, the religion for the age is the chanting. Hare Krishna, especially together in groups. <clears throat> but that's just one function. That's the external function that could be introduced by Krishna in any of his other forms, any of his Vishnu forms. Lord Vaita says he could introduce that. But only Lord Chaitanya, in the mood of separation, of a, of a devotee, of Radharani, in separation from Krishna, in exhibiting these different ecstatic uh, moods, almost to the point of madness, crying, laughing, um, could bring this ecstatic worship of the Lord. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama. So that's what we're, that's what we're um, <clears throat> interested in, not just the religious function. Although we offer all respects, it's like, I don't know where it's written, but the gopis, 
we're looking for Krishna, looking for Krishna, and he appears as Vishnu, four-armed Vishnu. It's Krishna in a Vishnu form. And the gopis offer all respect because this is the personality of Godhead. They offer all respect, they bow down, oh Lord Vishnu. And then they continue on their search for ecstatic Krishna, personal Krishna, intimate Krishna, to fulfill this desire that he has. He wants to enjoy loving relationship. He wants to reveal his mind. He wants to uh, be very playful. <laughs> he wants to experience all these different moods of uh, loving exchange. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. So, uh, well, continue on today. We've got some things to do. We've got to take the neighbor over if he wants to still go over to the temple. And then we have the uh, party in the afternoon at uh, the devotee's house. She's invited a lot of people over for Kirtan and Pashadam. And uh, then the function at the temple, see who's over there. <clears throat> and it's just a two-day festival yesterday and today. But then Sunday is also, every Sunday is a big religious function over there. So a lot of people will still be here um, for the weekend. So Sunday there will still be a lot going on with the regular Sunday program. And then uh, that will wind down. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, so... <sighs> Krishna, don't lose the bhakti. It's just a lot of commotion. <laughs> Krishna, it's really important where you get the mantra from. There's a lot of chanting going on, but where are they getting this man their mantras from? Who are they hearing from? Hmm. We know who we're hearing from. We're hearing from Srila Bhara Haridas, who is bringing out the meanings, the true meanings in Prabhupada's books. He's bringing out, like Krishna Viraj says, he's hiding these meanings. So what that means is it has to be someone who has that depth of relationship with Krishna to be able to bring that meaning out, because Krishna Viraj is hiding it from the camels. <laughs> so we need a cuckoo bird, and we got one. <laughs> we got a, we're getting a lot of cuckoo birds, and it's getting really cuckoo. <laughs> I bet you didn't know Krishna consciousness was supposed to be fun, did you? <laughs> I said that to somebody yesterday. We were standing in one line to take a little prasadam. Nice, nice young lady from uh, another part of Florida. We let her listen to Sheila Gaur Haridas, and she has a mantra card. And we were talking a little bit about some of these things waiting in line. And uh, I said, but you didn't know it was supposed to be fun, did you? And she's like, her face lit up. Yeah, I said, it's so serious. I said, yeah, but it's supposed to be fun. <laughs> it is fun. <laughs> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So, there we go. Hare Krishna. Go in there.